Earth's magnetic field is weakening for unexplained reasons. This is what the European Space Agency is confirming to us. And please see the video just before this one concerning Earth's core that it's mysteriously growing lopsided and it's messing with Earth's magnetic field, according to a new study, except the, that new study does not uh, concern itself with astronomy. It's only concerning itself with geology. Maybe they should get together with astronomers, find out perhaps something outside of the Earth's atmosphere is contributing to the lopsided of the Earth's core and what is messing with the Earth's magnetic field. But now concerning the Earth's magnetic field, we have the Space Agency of Europe telling us the Earth has a moderately strong magnetic field, which is generated by superheated liquid iron that makes up the outer core of our planet. The magnetic field is vital, as we know, to life because it shields the Earth's ozone layer from solar wind, cosmic rays, and harmful ultraviolet radiation. The Earth's magnetic field, though, is weakening. And this is what European Space Agency, ESA, said in their statement, cited data from its SWARM mission. That's a constellation of satellites. It was launched in 2013. And according to ESA, over the past 200 years, the Earth's magnetic field has lost 9% of its strength. Okay, that's almost 10%. In 1958, scientists discovered the South Atlantic Anomaly. It's an area that sits between Africa and South America. That's where that magnetic field has been weakening considerably. And according to ESA's latest study, the area has grown. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. And this is the area as we can see it is growing west and it's grown 12 miles per year and scientists cannot explain why. It's moving westward at 12 miles a year, which is pretty fast. And uh, we know that something else is happening on the North Pole, in the Arctic region. We have the magnetic pole moving from Canada towards Siberia about, I don't know how many, tens of miles a year. It's moving very fast lately. Now, also, according to data provided by the Swarm satellites, which studies our planet's magnetic field, a second area with less strength has emerged in South Africa, which the ESA says could be a sign that the South Atlantic anomaly could split up into two separate cells. That's, a, that's news to us, isn't it? So this South Atlantic anomaly could split up into two areas. Okay, two areas, two separate cells. The new eastern minimum of the South Atlantic anomaly has appeared over the last decade, and in recent years, they said, is developing vigorously. This is what Jürgen Matzka from the German Research Center of Geosciences says, and he says, we are very lucky to have the swarm satellites in order to investigate the development of this South Atlantic anomaly. The challenge now is to understand the processes in Earth's core driving these changes, he said. Now, the space agency said one hypothesis that may explain the magnetic field's bizarre behavior is a reversal of the North and South Poles. Yes, they're talking about pole flips and reversals here a process during which the poles switch places. It has occurred many times throughout the planet's history, and the ESA says we are long overdue by an average rate of roughly 250,000 years. The last one that took place was about 780,000 years ago. Now, the ESA said that at the moment, the weakening of the magnetic field, which protects our planet from cosmic radiation and charged particles emitted by the sun, poses no risk for humans, but satellites and spacecraft that fly through that area with reduced field strength are more likely to experience technical malfunctions. That's why the ISS, whenever it flies over the South Atlantic anomaly, turns off. Okay, so please leave your comments about this, and thank you so much for your support.